Hi guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa. If you're new around here, today I'm doing a bit of a vlog style video, but I bought a new rug the other day and I haven't put it down yet. Well, I have, but it didn't stay down because it's quite a thin rug and I bought some bits from Ikea the other day, which is hopefully going to stop it from moving around the carpet. It's super annoying. We're going to give it a little go today. I also have bought a new footstool and it kind of doubles up as a coffee table. So I'm going to style that for you today as well and show you how I style that. So basically I'm just going to shop my own home today and find some nice decor pieces to decorate the footstool slash coffee table with. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. I'm going to show you what everything looks like at the moment in the living room. Currently it looks a bit messy, so I'm going to tidy that up as well. And then I'll show you the rug. Let's get started. Okay, so this is what everything is looking like at the moment. We bought this rug to go here, mainly for the reason that obviously we've got new carpets down at the moment. And we also have a one-year-old, so we thought it would be easier if we had a rug to clean rather than having to clean the carpets if anything was to happen. So I I bought the rug and it was £89 I think. It's quite a large rug. This footstool here is actually meant to be going but currently it's obviously blocking the telly as you can see. I'm gonna get rid of all of this in a second but this here is our new footstool slash coffee table. <laughs> Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets and Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Okay, so now that I've vacuumed all of the Cheerios off the floor, I can put the rug down. So let me show you the rug. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build a secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. So I did buy some tape for the rug and I've lost it somehow. I don't know where it is. I think maybe one of the kids has moved it possibly. Doesn't matter. Instead, we're gonna use this which won't help with the corners right now so I'll have to get some more tape maybe or have a proper look for it later on probably in a toy box somewhere but I did get this from Ikea and it is called Stop with two peas and basically it's to stop the rug from moving around the carpet so I'm going to lay those underneath the carpet and hopefully that will help Quiet voices in the night is running out of sight The lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Okay, so that is the rug all down. It has helped a little bit. I mean, when I walk on it, it's not making it move as much as it was but look you can still see it moves a little bit here highly annoying so i don't really know what i'm going to do about it maybe i'll have to put it in another room but i really like it in here let me move the footstool over and we'll style that up there's no one left but you and me it's like a made up place that only Okay, so something you might have noticed then when I was putting the footstool back is that it is storage as well. So this is an ottoman slash table slash storage. How amazing is that? There is so much storage in here, but I'm probably gonna use it for more like blankets and things like that because it is quite heavy and I don't want to use it for toys because the kids will have to keep taking this off, which is a glass top, but I absolutely love it. What do you think? So now I'm just gonna use some Pledge Clean It Polish Spray. This is a multi-surface cleaner in the scent jasmine so i'm just going to use that to polish it up and get rid of any finger marks because the kids have been 
you know, touching it. So I'm going to give it a little polish and make sure it's nice and shiny. And then we're going to put some bits on there. So I'm going to go around the house, find a few items to kind of style up. And then I'll show you how they look. So that is the Ottoman all clean, ready to style. So I've got these books here, which I think will be really good on the table. So I'm going to take those. I also like this vase. So I'm going to take this. I got this from HomeSense. In my bedroom, I've got these candles. So I'm going to take a couple of those. They are from Ikea. And whilst I was in my bedroom, I also spotted this vase from H&M Home, so I'm going to use that as well. Okay, so now I've got everything, I'm just going to style them up. So first of all, I'm going to start with the books that I've got. We've got a Lusso Stone book, a Chanel book, which I actually got from TK Maxx, and also the Home Edit, which I got on Amazon. So I'm going to pop those right in the middle, like so. Actually, I might pop them to the side, like that. I think I'm going to put them at the side for now. And then I'm going to put the flowers just off to the side there like that. I think I'll put this vase on top here. And then I'll place two of the candles down here somewhere. So let me just put them down here and then I can move them around and rearrange as we're down here. Because I don't want it to look too much but I actually quite like the different textures, different colours. So this is how I'm styling the coffee table today. There are so many ways that you could rearrange this. You could rearrange the items that you've got on here. Take some off if you wanted to so you can take away some of that colour. Keep it a bit more monochrome. Take away that if you wanted to as well. Like I said, the choice is yours. There are just so many different ways that you could style this table. Keep it simple like that if you want to, which I really, really like actually. And then you can pop that next to it. Again, keeping it a bit more monochrome if you wanted to. You could add some different candles, some shorter ones. Or you can go in and add a bit more colour. Take these away. Take the black book away. And then go back in with some colour and keeping it a bit more light and fresh for spring. I think that looks really cute like that as well. And then you could add some more flowers on top as well. So you could use the book as a little bit of a kind of tray I guess and pop other things on top of it. So those are a few ways that I am styling my coffee table now. I'm so so happy with it. I just need to find a solution for the rug. If not the rug will have to go for now and I'll have to put it somewhere else. So I can already see unfortunately that the rug is moving and this is not working at the moment. So oh I'm so sad because I really wanted it to work and I really want to have the rug in here because I think it looks so beautiful. So if you've got any solutions on how to get this rug to stay stuck down then let me know because I think it's because the rug is quite a thin one and it's very lightweight so it's obviously going to move around a lot on the carpet. So maybe I just need to get a thicker heavier rug which I didn't really want to do because I thought the boys would trip over it but this is even more of a tripping hazard at the moment so maybe I'll have to get a thicker rug let me know if you've got any tips or tricks on that one but yeah I hope you enjoyed this little video and a little styling video as well if you want to see more styling videos then please let me know because I absolutely love doing stuff like this and there are so many ways that you can shop your own home you can recycle the decor that you've got in your rooms swap them around each room and make your room look really fresh and different again I do this all of the time with my home decor pieces so if you want to see some more videos on how I recycle my home decor then let me know and I can do that for you. So thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!